Little Aliana is screaming her head off while Azura is woohooing. And Azura, in typical Azura style, is just oblivious to the world, having her fun with yet another guy. Hi everybody, this is Lady Sweet Tart and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. So as you can see in the corner of the screen, Azura has just gone into labor. I did play a little bit of time off camera. Um, it is actually Sunday morning at 2.16 in the morning, like basically late Saturday night. And so everybody else, as you can probably see down here, is in bed. But yeah, we want Azura to go ahead and have this baby or babies, I should say, because if you remember, at the end of the last episode, we did roll to have twins this time, and we actually have space for that in the house, and I'm hoping that at least one baby is a girl. Um, I know when I went to switch it to twins in MCCC, it said two girls where it had said one boy before, but with MCCC, it does change things sometimes. Okay, so the first baby is a girl. And the last name is going to be Beckwith because their dad is the handsome Harry Beckwith. And the U name that I picked out for a girl is something really pretty and I've never heard of it before, but it was Ulyana. And that was suggested by Obi Jim. So Obi Jim, thank you for the name suggestion of Ulyana. I think it is so pretty. And yay, it's another girl. And this girl actually, guys, is going to be the backup air now oh and i need to spell okay it's still not right so the v name that i picked out for a girl was another name that i had never heard of but i also thought was super pretty and that was valin and that was suggested by katie so katie thank you so much for the name suggestion of valin so we are gonna have little babies aliana and valin azra and harry had twins yes they did and since we finally had a little girl and we never have, well, I shouldn't say never, but we haven't had a little girl in a long time, I'm gonna change this to pink because we are so stinking excited to have some little girls in the house again. Okay, so both little Aliana and little Valen are hungry, so we're gonna have her take care of that. Um, it looks like little Valen also needs a diaper change. So we're gonna have Azra sort these babies out and send her back to bed. It looks like Oliver is up for some reason. My guess is it's because he's gotten so accustomed to taking care of the kids in the house that he feels like since there's new babies, he probably has to get up and take care of them. But Oliver, we are not gonna make you do that. Also, um, I can't remember, I think this happened at the end of the last episode, but Rosalind did get her grade up to an A. So we are gonna age her up in the morning. It will be Sunday morning when everyone gets up. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, that sound, the baby's crying anyway. Ha, ah, so much more peaceful. Actually, let's look at little baby Thatch while he's sleeping, cause like, that's probably the most adorable thing that we can look at, right? So yeah, so we're gonna be able to age up Rosalind because she does have her A. Um, Sawyer has a B, so we probably will be able to age him up tomorrow in the game, so that will be before the end of the episode. Um, Thatcher, we have just been working on his skills off camera. He's doing a Okay, so I'm not sure where we'll stand with him by the end of the episode. And we actually can go ahead and age up Quimby as well because Quimby has an A and he does have his responsibility in range. So in the morning, we are going to go ahead and age up Quimby and Rosalind. So since everyone's basically going to be sleeping, I will go ahead and just meet you back when it's time to age them up. Okay, so it's about eight o'clock the next morning. Um, Quimby is all good to go for the day. So I'm actually gonna have him stop and come over here and blow out the birthday candles. Um, Rosalind is just finishing up her breakfast over here. So when she's finished with that, I will have her come and blow the candles out as well. 
Um, we are also going to be moving out Oliver this episode um, after this happens because we do need to have Azra get pregnant again. And off camera, I did have her work on a relationship with this Tuan, Tony, I don't know. I'm assuming it's Tuan, like a short version of Antoine, but I don't know. Um, so I'm going to have her invite him over after we move Oliver out and have her get pregnant again. Okay, so Quimby aged up. He wants to be wealthy. He is a geek and he is also a freegan and he is a computer whiz. That actually makes really good sense with his geek trait. Okay, so Quimby, um, I'm going to have you... Put some more birthday candles on so that your little sister Rosalind can come and blow out the candles when she's finished. And I'm actually, before Oliver moves out, I'm going to have him get started in a career. I'm trying to do better about that. I usually forget, but I think we're going to, you know, go ahead and find a job for Oliver. Quimby is a one-star celebrity, I think, from his painting. Okay, so we're going to find a career for Oliver, and since Oliver is a music lover, and he's gotten pretty good at the guitar, I think I want to start him in the musician career. So I'm trying to, I think, actually, do you have to do entertainer? Yes, and then you do a musician branch. Okay, so he's going to go into the entertainer career, so at least he will have a job when we move him out. Okay, Rosalind is still eating. <laughs> She is the slowest eater in the world. I'm super excited to make Rosalind over because she's such a gorgeous little girl. Okay, so Rosalind is going to come over and age up also. And I think she's going to be just as beautiful as a teen as she was as a child. But let's go ahead and see. Okay, so Rosalind aged up. Oh, yeah, and we have to give her two traits because the toy obsessed one was child specific. I'm interested to see what she gets because she is a very social girl. Um, so she is mischievous and she loves the outdoors. Okay. Maybe we just go with the friend of the world since she was a social girl. But she's a little mischievous also. Yeah, guys, I mean, she's got some weird CC on, but I think she's going to be super pretty. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this away for next time. And we are going to go into Manage World so that we can move out Oliver. Okay, so our one house that we have been sending everybody to is full. So we are going to have to start a new household for Oliver. And we can move some of the siblings in once we start that. Let's give Oliver 25,000 simoleons to start. I sort of don't like this new thing where we, you take the kids out of the household. They don't automatically get to the 20000 like they used to. But, you know, we have so much money now. Like, I feel like it's going to kind of help because it'll keep us from accumulating too much cash at once. Okay, so that one is only 17000 I think we're really running out of empty lots, to be honest. Let's go ahead and move him into Brindleton Bay. We haven't moved anyone there yet, so we will just start a new 100 baby household in Brindleton Bay. Okay, so we are back in the house, and now that we have a household spot, I am going to have Azra invite over Tuan. I hope I'm saying that right, because obviously we can't waste any time in getting to baby number, what will this be, 24, I believe. Yeah, so Tuan Richard, and we're also going to pop Rosalind into Cass and see what she looks like and give her her makeover, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so here is Rosalind in Cass. Um, let's get rid of this ridiculous CC. I mean, she's definitely suffering a little bit from the teen no chin syndrome, so I think I am going to just pull her chin down just a little bit. Um, so that she has at least a little bit of a chin. I mean, that definitely looks a little bit better. But yeah, she's still super, super pretty. Um, I feel like she looks a lot like her dad because she has a different mouth from Azura and she has different eyes as well. So yeah, but shes I think she's going to be really pretty with the makeover, guys. And especially when she becomes a young adult <laughs> and has more of a chin. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make over Rosalind and I will meet you back when I am finished. 
Okay, so I just finished making over Rosalind, and as I predicted, with a little makeover, she looks so gorgeous. So we know that Rosalind's color has always been yellow, and I tried to keep in mind that it is just turning fall. So I like to try to dress them, you know, according to the season somewhat. I love her party outfit. <laughs> like I am almost tempted to make that her every day. But yeah, I did make her quite girly and fashionable because as we've talked about before, Azra has had a huge influence on Rosalind, and so I just kind of feel like Rosalind would be that way. So anyway, guys, that is Rosalind. I hope you love her just as much as I do, and I will see you back in the game. Okay, so we are back in game. So here is Rosalind in game. She is so beautiful. Um, but I do need to have Azra get pregnant again. So we are going to try again to call over that Twain guy. Or t Twan. Twan. I'm pretty sure it's Twan. So invite him to hang out again. Azra, you don't look very thrilled to be alive, but you know, it's fine. Oh, I guess she's having her, um, you know, female time. So we're going to have to take care of that. Right. Just another reason to try to get her pregnant quickly. Okay, so it did say that Tuan will be right over. Okay, so here the guy is. Um, I did get him from the gallery, I'm pretty sure. I think he's one of the guys that lives with Mark, Rosalind's dad. Um, he's already complaining about something. But she should be able to go straight for trying for a baby with him because she did woohoo him yesterday. But I'm going to see if I can give you guys a close-up look at him. Um, Yeah, he is just a base sim. Like, obviously, I didn't make him over or give him any kind of outfits or anything like that. Okay, so let's see if she can do that now. No, Azra, you're not asking him to be your boyfriend. Oh, my gosh. That is not what we do in this challenge. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. You're allowed to have boyfriends. You're just not allowed to have them move in or get married or anything like that. But there's honestly no point either. I mean, why like ask someone to be your boyfriend and then turn around and cheat on them with somebody else? Okay, so she's going to go up to try for a baby. Let's make sure everybody else is doing okay. Miss Rosalind, I'm actually going to have to... Have you get on that homework grind now that you are a teen. Also, I don't think you're going to need these Void Critter packs. So why don't you give those to Sawyer? Um, Sawyer is just working on his motor skill. He did already get what he needs for school. But Azura, for her current aspiration, needs a child to max a skill. And so I thought maybe we could try that with Sawyer. And yeah, great. <laughs> Little Aliana is screaming her head off while Azura is woohooing. And Azura, in typical Azura style, is just oblivious to the world, having her fun with yet another guy. Henry Halls is calling Quimby. He wants him to go to the flea market, but we don't really have time for that. Okay, as soon as Azura is done doing her thing in the bed, we can have someone come in and take care of these babies. Now they're both crying. Great. No protection was used. Yeah, that's usually what happens when you try for a baby. Let me see if I can give you a close-up look. Yeah, like this guy is super freaking cute. So I think she should be able to have some pretty babies with him. Man, he's out. He's like, oh, okay, he's just doing sit-ups. Like, or push-ups, yeah. Like, these babies are crying. I'm done. Yeah, I did just add the Woohoo Wellness mod to my game. So I'm super excited about that. So that's what that notification is coming from. Um, but with it, you can get what they call like WTDs, which is like woohoo transmitted diseases. And I thought that would be super fun with Azura, you know, just constantly woohooing her way through the whole Sims world. I almost said town, but let's face it, it's a lot more than that. Okay, so she is pregnant again. Great. Our record holds true. Oh, Quimby. Bless your heart, Quimby. <laughs> Even little Sawyer's up here wanting to help his baby sisters. But I don't think you can help because, yeah, they need to eat. So why don't you bottle feed? We're also going to see if we can't find a cute onesie on Plopsy. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so Quimby is going to go and try to bottle feed these babies. Sire, I love you, but there's not really anything you can do to help, sweetie. 
Okay, so Rosalind is doing her homework. That is good. That's what we wanted. Sawyer, I am pretty sure I told you to get out of the way. Oh, and just like that, I remembered one of the reasons I absolutely hate twins. Rosalind has finished her homework. What an absolute queen. So I am thinking we will have... Rosalind work on the wellness skill because we haven't had anyone do that yet. So I'm going to have her come up and practice yoga. I know we could just get a basketball court and just have the kids dream big, but I just I'd spam that. But like, honestly, I just feel like that would be so boring. Okay, Sire, I love that you want to be a part of your baby sister's lives, but like you're really getting in the way. <laughs> yeah, so why don't we check this out? Because we've never, I actually period, have never used that, like in any save ever. So please get out of the way so Quimby can help take care of Valen. Here, train Campos. <laughs> have fun. Get out of Quimby's way. Thank you. What a star you are, Quimby. Okay, so Rosalind is in here doing some yoga, getting that wellness skill up. Oh, speaking of which, that reminds me. I need to have Azra get signatures to repeal the one that keeps making them make that herbal stuff. So actually, I'm gonna have her take a break from this. And I think now that Rosalind's a teen, she can ask her. Um, she did get Quimby to sign it. And she asked Oliver, but I didn't see whether he signed it or not. And the guy that she just woohooed with, and well, the guy she just tried for a baby with, she also tried to ask him off camera, but he didn't sign it. <laughs> He told her no. So, yeah, we still need quite a few signatures. I think it has to be done by Monday. So, also, it's like almost three in the afternoon <laughs> and little Thatch is still asleep. Like, honey, you need to get up. Your energy is full. I know you don't like your mom <laughs> and you probably just want to sleep, but you need to like eat because you're going to starve. Oh, Rosalind came to her. That's interesting. She's probably like, Rosalind, my favorite child, which pretty much is true. Can you please sign this for me? I don't know what you're talking about, but it does not look like you're repealing a signature. Okay, you're really getting in the way today, Sawyer. I don't know if you're just needy today or what, but like you're kind of getting on my nerves. You're definitely getting interfering with a lot of things. Okay, so is Azra finally going to ask her? Please say yes. Favorite child of Azura's? You can't refuse your mother, right? See, I knew it. Okay, so it is the next morning. It's about 11.15. Little baby Thatch has just gotten up. And he's pretty stinky. So I'm going to have Quimby um, stop playing video games and give little Thatch a bubble bath. And then Sawyer and Rosalind are both at school. I just have Rosalind working normally because her fun was already pretty bad when she went to school and she doesn't have what she needs to get her grade up anyway. However, I do have Sawyer studying hard because he does have everything he needs to get another grade up. Also, um, we did get an offer for Azura. Um, they want her to record and upload it to the video station. They also want her to do a beauty review. So we are going to have her vlog today. Um, oh, and I did off camera. I will try to insert a picture because they took a picture of it. I had Azra get the signatures she needed to repeal the whole wellness thing um, because I had her go to the house of her former kids <laughs> just down the road. I figured they would all say yes, and they did. So yeah, she's got her signatures. Hopefully that stupid nap will be repealed. You'd think that'd be a good thing, right? Like, oh, let's have our Sims be healthy and work out. No, people just show up randomly at your house and make green goop. Yeah, everyone always wants to hire Azura. <laughs> I feel like they really don't know Azura very well. Also, I did finally manage to get some pretty cute onesies for Aliana and Valin, so they are wearing those. However, I think they're going to age up like <laughs> later tonight. Well, really early tomorrow. Oh, and it is rebate day, so I need to figure out something that we can purchase for the house that would qualify because it's too good of a deal not to take advantage of it. 
Oh, 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 no, 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 no. We don't want to do this. This is so automatic for me. I've been trying to have her sell everything on Plopsy um, because you do get more money for it. And now that we're not hurting for money all the time, I feel like we don't need the instant money as much. So that's sort of been my challenge for that. But yeah, we're just going to begin recording. Um, and I'm going to have her spend some time taking care of little Thatch because he's getting pretty close on his skills so I'm hoping if we do that we can possibly age him up today because yeah these yeah these two babies are about to age up to toddlers and I really don't care to have three toddlers <laughs> just saying okay so you're gonna go to thatch and we're gonna work on his skills and the reason I want you to do it Azra is because he will learn faster from you than he will from Quimby and we really want to get this done and since you're gonna be vlogging anyway it only makes sense to show mommy time so yeah let's read when is winter and that should get his imagination skill up and we're going to be recording it because obviously with azura and her doing youtube stuff like she very obviously wants to present the image that she's this great wonderful mom <laughs> like she's definitely not as involved as she should be but <laughs> She's trying to present an image here, and we know that Thatch doesn't like his mom very much. That was one of our wheel spins last time. However, that said, it does look like their relationship has gone up a little bit, just from the time that Azra has spent with him. But it does look like he's hungry, so we're going to have to get him some food also. Oh, okay, I've got an idea of something that we can get for the house for rebate day. What if we get one of those, like... I'm going to regret this, I know, because the Sims get obsessed with it, at least in the past. When I've had my Sims get it, they have. But that little video game thing, like that they stand on and they play video games on it. The motion gaming rig, that's what it's called. That will definitely qualify for the amount that we need to spend. But if only I can find it. Here we go. We'll get the kids one of these. And yeah, let's make it blue so it fits in better with the little basement thing here. And yeah, that should definitely qualify. So we don't have to worry about rebate day anymore. Okay, so she stopped reading. Did that help his imagination? Yeah, it actually helped quite a bit. Okay, so Rosalind is back, Sawyer is back. Sawyer has an A, and we knew Rosalind was still gonna have a B because she didn't have what she needed to get her grade up. So we are gonna have her, ooh, okay, yeah, she's got some female things <laughs> that she needs to take care of. So we're gonna send her to the bathroom. And her fun is miserable, so we will let her come in and watch some TV after that. Sawyer, your fun's a little low, but you're doing okay. So since we're trying to get your motor skill up, and child, you did not finish that food. Sawyer, why don't you come in and play your keyboard commander game since we're trying to get your motor skill up. So we will not be aging him up, even though he has an A, just because this is for Azura's aspiration. I've noticed that between the two babies, Valin is definitely more needy than Alyana. So it'll be interesting to see if that personality plays out as they get older. Okay, so you're stressed, hon. I know, that's why I'm letting you go and watch some TV before I make you do your homework. It's fine. And then he's playing his game and also working on his motor skills, so that's perfect. Quimby is going to take care of his baby sister. Azra is potty training Thatch. All is well. Quimby is in here. Oh, Penelope's here. And she still has her sketch pad. Quite interesting. Anyway, Quimby is in here helping Rosalind with her homework so that she can get it done quicker. Yay, Thatcher reached Imagination Level 3. So stop that and then come and talk to the stuffed animal. And then we should be able to age him up before we age the babies up, guys. Also, I never noticed whether that got repealed or not. Um, does it tell us? Yay! Voting is now closed and rock your body and mine was repealed. So hopefully people will not show up our ha at our house making green goop anywhere. Anyway, oh, you are up here, Quimby. You really are superstar big brother of the day. Okay, so 
Thatcher is at level two. We just have to go up one more. Oh, here we go. No, why are people doing that? We repealed that. So I'm gonna have everybody grab a serving of this salmon. No, you're not cooking. You don't know how to cook. There's some perfectly good salmon right here. Yay, Thatcher reached communication level three. So he does have all of his skills to age up. So I'm gonna have him come in and eat because he is starving. And then we will age him up. Okay, so here we are with this nice family dinner. <laughs> Rosalind does not look impressed with life. Honey, why are you throwing a tantrum? I told you to come out here and get some food. You're hungry. What makes more sense? Throwing a tantrum or going to get food? I mean, I'm so confused by the way that these toddlers act sometimes. And then Sire, you are gonna have to go to bed. And Rosalind, you are also going to have to go to bed. We didn't quite get her wellness up to level three, but it's fine. I'm not in a super big hurry to make her a young adult. Okay, so Thatcher is done eating his dinner, so we are gonna have Azura help him blow out the candles. Nope, you're not going to bed, not in that bed. Poor Thatcher is so upset. This is not winning him. This is not winning Azura any favor with him <laughs> by keeping him up at 12, 14 at night when he's exhausted so that he can age up to a child. But honey, like literally, your sisters are about to become toddlers at any time. And we cannot have three toddlers. We just can't. Okay, so Thatcher aged up. So... He is outgoing. And he did get his highest skill in mental, so I'm gonna make him a whiz kid. So he's an outgoing whiz kid. I like that. You don't see that combo too often. So please add birthday candles. And then we will send you to bed, honey. And I don't even think you have to go to school tomorrow um, because it's like 12.30 at night. So I doubt the game is gonna have you go to school. Yeah, see, not until two days. Also, why did he age up automatically sick? That happened to Sire too. Like, why are my kids are all automatically being sick as soon as they age up? That doesn't make any sense. So this is gonna be your bed, Thatcher. So go ahead and come up to sleep, and then Quimby, you can go back to bed. Azura, yes, you can finally go to bed until it tells us that we can age up all Yana and Valen, and then you're going to have to get your booty up and age them up. I'm just letting you know, and that's probably going to happen any time now. Okay, today is their birthday, right? Yeah, okay, right as I was checking, it's all Yana's birthday. It's Valen's birthday. So yeah, Azura, I'm sorry to say, but you are going to have to get up and age up all Yana and Valen. I could be smart and take their onesies off first so that we can use them for the next baby, but I kind of like the idea of, yeah, she's willfully ignoring me, guys. <laughs> Do you see this? She's ignoring me. But yeah, I kind of like the idea of giving every baby their own onesie, like just using a different onesie for every baby. I don't know. I'm hoping that at least one of them has red hair. Yay! Alyana has red hair. And she's silly. How adorable. Okay, now let's see about little Valin. Oh, she has red hair too. I wonder if they're identical. I kind of hope not, just because I think it's more like exciting if they look different. I mean, yeah, we can give them a different style and everything to each other when they get older especially, but like, I don't know. I just kind of like it if they're a little different. Okay, so that's Azura. We know what she looks like. So we've got Alyana, who is the silly one. Um, let's take off all the skin details. Was that her dad's eye color? I don't think it was. And then let's take a look at Valin. I might need to fix that. I think this was his, her, their dad's eye color. I think he had green eyes. So yeah, they're definitely, I would say, not identical. Um, let's take a do this to take a better look at their face. Mm, I don't know, maybe. Okay, I don't believe that they are identical because they have different skin tones. Like hers is a little bit darker. Alyana's is a little bit darker. 
um, Valens is a little bit lighter so they are meant to have different eye colors so I'm gonna assume then that that means the dad had green eyes so that means that little Aliana is meant to have Azra's eye color which is this color but I'm gonna have to check on the dads so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I make them over just for accuracy sake um, and then let's check out little thatch um, let's take off all of the skin details here so we can get a better look at him. Now, he was meant to have those dark blue eyes because his dad did have that. Um, but let's fix his eyebrows. But yeah, he's super cute. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I'm going to make over Thatch, Aliana, and Valin, and I will meet you back when I'm finished. Okay, so I just finished making over Thatcher, Aliana, and Valin. So let's go ahead and start with little Thatch. So as you already knew from him being a toddler, gray is Thatcher's color, but oh my goodness, is it just me or does he have like the sweetest little face? Like he just looks like he would be such a sweet kid, even though he can't stand his mom. But anyway, yeah, um, I try to keep in mind that it is fall now. So kind of dressing accordingly and obviously wanting to keep with the gray, and also to keep in mind that he is a whiz kid, so I figured he probably cares at least a little bit about how he dresses. I love his hot weather outfit. I just think it's so cute. So yeah, that is a thatch. So let's move on to Aliana. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm sure part of it is the red hair. But to me, these little twins are just like the cutest things ever. So considering they are twins, I wanted to kind of dress them alike. And so I did go ahead and do that. And for Aliana, this is Aliana. Um, oh, by the way, they are definitely not identical. Um, I definitely noticed some differences in their faces and things like that when I was um, I was almost going to say decorating them <laughs> when I was dressing them up. So they are not identical. But yeah, this is Aliana. She's a super beautiful little girl. Um, I decided purple would be her color. Um, so like I said, I looked for things where I could dress them alike. And so with Aliana, I chose purple. I love her party outfit. I just think it's so cute. Um, so yeah, that is Aliana. So let's go ahead and move to her twin, Valin, who even though isn't an identical twin, I think she is equally as beautiful. So I checked the eye color of Harry, her dad, and it was this color. So um, I presumed that since they were green, that they were meant to be her dad's color. So I did change them to match. And I don't know why, I wasn't trying to close up again, but yeah, I don't know why. But I picture Valin being a little bit more like girly than Aliana. I'm not really sure why. I just see her as being the more girly of the two twins. But as you can see, for the most part, I really dress them alike just in green and um, I gave all Valin this like minty color. So I just thought that looked good on her. So anyway, that is Thatcher, Aliana, and Valin. I hope you like them as much as I do and I will see you back in the game. Okay, so we now have a bed for Aliana and Valin. And then I'm gonna check and see if Azura has anything for sleep. Happy, fun, sleep right here. It staves off sleep. So after she's done reading to Aliana, I'm going to have her drink one of those. I can't believe we were so lucky when we finally got girls to get twin red-haired girls, guys. I'm super excited about that. Also, Quimby, like, did you find something fascinating on the wall? Like, what's going on? In a strange twist of fate, Azra is actually doing what she was told. Okay, so the twin girls are both asleep. Azra has taken her sleep replacement. She seems to be pretty rested, which is good because it is six in the morning already. So anyway, this seems like a really good spot to go ahead and do our spins. Okay, so last episode got 25 likes. So that means that today we get two spins of our wheel. Pretty typical for us. 
Um, so hopefully the wheel will be kind to us. Um, price of diapers goes up. Pay 70 simoleons per baby and toddler. So we have two toddlers right now. So that means we would be paying 140, which is not too bad. Um, so we can definitely do that, but let's go ahead and see the second spin. Christmas came early. Free household item of choice up to 3,000 simoleons. Well, that one's not too bad either. So um, I'm going to write these down, guys, and I will meet you back in the game where we should be able to do both of these things. Okay, so we're back in game. So we want to deduct 140 simoleons. So that means that our money should be... 95, 457. Yes, so it took the 140 off. Um, and now we just have to figure out what we need to get. That is 3,000 simoleons. Because, I mean, I feel like we honestly have just about everything we really could want right now. Um, we did get this for rebate day. You know, one thing that I've kind of wanted for down here um, for the kids to be able to work on is instead of this keyboard, I was thinking it would be nice if we had an actual piano. So I think what we will do is we will sell that and we will get a real piano. Because I'm thinking that should at least be 3,000 simoleons. Okay, that one's only 1,400, but I thought... You know what? It says up to that, though. It doesn't say that you have to spend that much. So we will just go ahead and go with this. Maybe there. And does white look better? I'm kind of thinking white would look better down here. What was it? 14 something? We'll just add 1400. I'm not that worried about the exact amount. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and end it off here. Um, go ahead and leave your W names in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Remember, we are doing one spin for every 10 likes the video gets. Drop a comment below, guys. I always love hearing what you have to say. It honestly makes my day. And I'll see you later. Bye.